the Easter message from the Royals this season is entitled Only Three Days. Uh, we want to look at the hope in which we normally have when we enter a season like now. We know very well during Easter time like this, Jesus was with his disciples most of the time and telling them about his death and about his resurrection. In the book of Matthew 16, 21, Jesus kept on telling them from that time on, Jesus began to say plainly to his disciples, I must go to Jerusalem and suffer much from elders, chief priests, and the teachers of law. I will be put to death, but three days later, I will be raised again. He was telling his disciples, and still he speaks again to them in the books of Matthew, in the book of Matthew 17 and 22. He is also reminding them they were seated together with his disciples in Galilee. When disciples all came together in Galilee, Jesus said to them again, the Son of Man is about to be handed over to people who will kill him, but three days later he will be raised to life again. And he kept on telling the disciples, I will be killed, I'll be handed over to people who will kill me, but three days later, I will be brought back to life. So what Jesus was trying to do, he was, he was uh, telling them, yes, I'll die, yes, I'll suffer, but he did not want them to stay there, keep on thinking about death and suffering. He quickly removed them from there and focused them uh, on his resurrection. He always told them, it's only for three days, then I'll come back to life. And then he's doing the last supper, that is in Matthew 26, 26. Uh, while they were eating, Jesus took a piece of bread, gave a prayer, that is, he, he prayed, and then he gave thanks, he broke it, and he gave the, to the disciples, and he told them, eat this is my body, eat, this is my body. At the same time, then he took a cup, gave thanks to God, and gave it to them, drink it, all, uh, drink it, all of you, this is my blood which seals God's covenant and my blood poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. Here, he came, here, here when he was doing this action, he was actually continuing to prepare them and even to speak to them what he was about to go, uh, to go and suffer, to go through. And he told them, this is my blood which seals God's covenant. We have covenant with God. We have promises of God. And through the blood of Jesus, they are all sealed. God has, uh, has covenanted with us that I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be al always, I'll be with you. And many other covenants. And they are all sealed in this blood of Jesus Christ. A time like this, uh, this hope is resurrected as we continue to celebrate the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, after this, after they took the Last Supper, this is the time they sang a hymn, the Bible says they sang a hymn, and then they moved out and went to, to the Mountain of Olives. From there, Jesus entered Gethsemane with uh, the, the three disciples they went with, and from the time, that time of that prayer he prayed at Gethsemane, he was caught, handed over to the uh, to, his, to those people who would crucify him. He was beaten, he was accused, he was crucified, he died. And even after that, now we know exactly what he had said. Three days later, Jesus Christ resurrected. Now I want us to look at, the, uh, at what is this uh, resurrection of Jesus Christ? What is does this uh, action of such a time as this? How, what benefit did we get as, a, as Christians this week as we celebrate the death of our Lord Jesus Christ and his resurrection? We know very well uh, we are the season we are living in, even as we celebrate this time, we know we are not in the normal times and in the normal situations and circumstances that are surrounding us are different. We know that our hopes are dead, our dreams are dead, our dignity has been taken by the way we are putting on the mask, something we have on our mouth, covering our mouth, by the way we have something we have never seen since we were born. Our dignity has been taken away, our rights have been taken 
taken away. We cannot congregate. We cannot go to church to praise our God together. This is our right that the devil has taken away. Our finances are dying. Our businesses are dying and we know they are dead. And most people are grown, have grown hopeless. But we have hope in such a season. They are coming back and as we, re as we remember, we are in this season just for three days. I want to put, I want to encourage you that we are here in this situation, circumstance is just for a while. It's just a few days. It's just for three days. And then when Jesus resurrected, there was hope. In, uh, in the, though the disciples had forgotten the teachings and what Christ had told them, because when Christ was arrested, they went to hide. They had forgotten. But, they, but uh, may God help us not to forget that we are in the season we are in just for a while, just for three days, and then there will be resurrection. I want to declare and to decree that all, everything that has died in our lives in this season, since last year 2020, in this season of Corona, it is coming back to life. Our dreams are resurrecting again. Our hope is resurrecting again. Our dignity is being given back to us. Our rights and everything is broken. When Jesus died on the cross, he declared and said, it is finished. And we want to declare and decree that after just a very short while, the suffering that we are going through, it is finished. Jesus Christ, when he died and declared that, every curse in our lives was broken. And we are walking blessed people. Every curse uh, he became a curse that we may walk blessed. I want to declare to my viewer there that you are blessed. Walk in this season encouraged. Do not accept to walk defeated. We declare that we have life in Christ. We declare that uh, everything that is dead, we are taking it back to life. We are calling it back to resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ. So, uh, through the death of Jesus Christ, we have eternal life. We have our blessings. Jesus said, the Bible says in John 10, 10, the thief comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundant. So whatever the devil has stolen this season, whatever he has, he has, he has stolen from us, whatever he has killed, we are calling it back to life in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember in the resurrection, there is glory. There is where we are today, feeling like we are defeated, like everything is dying. But I want to encourage somebody there. After three days, after this season, we are coming back and everything is resurrecting uh, with glory. We will be in a better position than we were in pre-COVID. We shall be no longer be the same today. God, through the blood of Jesus, is doing a new thing. We don't know how, but we know that everything is possible with this God that we believe. God has been faithful throughout generation his faithfulness is is uh is intergenerational and he has never failed any generation he is not going to fail us even this time we are going to attest that he is faithful and therefore be encouraged that even today he is here with us i declare we are not there are those people who are even contemplating suicide because everything is gone they have no hope for tomorrow i declare you're not going to commit suicide you're not going to walk the uh, disappointed and discouraged it is only for three days and then there we shall all resurrect and there is glory in resurrection god bless you